Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Portobello crispy mushroom snacks. And some shrooms. Shrooms. Uh, these uh, Portobello come in a barbecue, pizza. And jalapeno. And then the shrooms is spicy jalapeno. And they may sell other flavors of these, but these are what Charnel sent us. Charnel sent these all the way from Washington State. She found them at grocery outlets. She only paid $1.99 for them, which she said is probably much cheaper than what her family members pay for them. Uh, they are on um, keto, paleo, very strict diet, and so they buy these all the time. And she said they probably pay a lot more than she did at grocery yeah, outlets. Paleo. Yeah, mushrooms would be paleo for sure. Yeah. So these are a portobello crispy mushroom snack made from fresh North American grown sliced mushrooms um barbecue it's a satisfy your craving for a uniquely delicious snack like no other you've ever tasted savory portobello is the authentic crispy mushroom snack with adventurous mind-blowing flavor made from fresh thick cut north american grown mushrooms and packed with nature's goodness better for you snacking has never tasted so good go ahead munch away we'll grow more um they are produced See, from they're from um, St. Kenneth Square in Pennsylvania, and it's portabella.com, and uh, the whole bag is 320 calories. By the way, love their logo. Oh, I do too. It's a little chef hat and made out of a mushroom. It's very, <laughs> it's very cute. cute. That's, that's good marketing right there. Okay, so these are the barbecue. I like mushrooms too. Kevin does like mushrooms. Did you get a big one? Mm hmm. I actually like those. It's different. Um, it has a nice crunch to it. Um, I wonder what you think about it. Because I like mushrooms, but let me tell you what I don't like about mushrooms. I don't like it when they're slimy. Well, these so, definitely aren't slimy. No. I don't like it. We have bought in the past, it's been a long time ago, but we bought the kind in the freezer that's uh, coated with something. Oh, the, the fried. Yes. Mushrooms. And then when you fry them, they get, water. they're, they get watery. I don't like watery. I think that's from being frozen. Yeah, it is from being frozen. I don't like a watery, slimy yeah, mushroom. Yeah, I agree. These are good. And on pizza, I love mushrooms on pizza. Mm -hmm. As long as they're, they give it a Big chance part. to dry out in yeah. the oven. Uh, those are, that's nice. They're good. They're, the texture is different than what you would think. The flavors are really nice. It's not super strong barbecue, but it definitely is barbecue. Yeah. But what's neat about them is that it, they're pretty thick. So the outside layer, you get a little crunch to them, but then the inside layer is kind of soft. Yes. So, yeah. um, so, but they do have an underlying earthy mushroom flavor. Uh, it didn't bother me. No, it doesn't bother me. No. Either, but I like it anyway. But, um, but it does have that little earthiness to them, so just know. Uh, yeah, this one oh. is pizza, and it has, you can see seasonings all over it. It, uh, I mean, it goes. <laughs> it, it's 320 calories for the entire bag. Some people would be put off by that texture. Hmm. It it's just like pizza crispy. Season. It's the after texture, like once you go through the crisp, Mm. You get that softness. Now, see, I like that one more than the first one, but I like that that pizza uh, pizza seasoning. It has tomato powder, sugar, garlic powder, onion powder, spices, parsley, paprika. Mm. Yeah, okay. I just really like that combination. It tastes like the seasonings in a tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's I like that. Not necessarily all the cheese and all that other stuff, but the sauce in the the, the seasoning in the sauce is what mm. it tastes like. I actually really like the uh, the texture of these. I yeah. like it that they're they're crisp, but they're not like a potato chip. It's no. not like it's crisp through and through because once you bite into it, it's very soft and it kind of collapses. Yeah. I'm gonna say this. It's gonna sound insulting, but I don't know what else to compare it to. Kind of like a packing peanut. Kind of like a, a rice cake or something. How, but when you. It's not as, uh, it's just not crispy through and through. Um, so it's, it's. It has a tender inside. Yes, yes. So this is the jalapeno, and it's 320 for the entire bag. And I love jalapenos. Ooh. 
And it has some spice on the outside. Haha. <laughs> The bigger the pieces, the softer you get that inside. I can see though, just you would eat these by themselves like a bag of chips or something. Oh yeah, yeah, just sit and snack on them. Yeah, this isn't something that you would bite and add it to ah, something. It's a big one. It's huge. That has some uh, heat to it. That's a little bit. It doesn't bother me, but it does have a little bit of a, a like zing those. to it. Um, yeah, I still think out of these three, my favorite's the pizza. Yeah, I'd probably get the barbecue. But uh, I, I like them all. So you eat the whole bag for 320 calories? Yes, the whole bag. That's not bad. Uh -uh. I mean, there's a lot there. I don't know that I would eat a whole bag. I know. You, you do get a lot. Well, they divide it into two servings. Yeah. So uh, per serving, it's only 170 calories. But normally, I would think when you open the bag of these, you'd probably lean towards eating the whole thing. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot there. Now these are the Shrooms brand and I do know they have other varieties of these because I saw them on Amazon and they do have other flavors. This is the spicy jalapeno flavor. Savor the mind-blowing flavor. Shrooms, crispy mushroom snack, thick cut from fresh mushrooms, low saturated fat, cholesterol free. Uh, 320 for the entire bag. Hmm. And these, I think it's the same company. Do you really? Yeah, because it's St. Kenneth Square in Pennsylvania. It's the same, it, it's the coming from the exact same place and it says on the back. Do you think they're uh, different? Made mushrooms? from fresh, thick cut, Pennsylvania grown mushrooms. That's the same picture even. Of yeah. the two mushrooms. Yeah, I think huh. it's the same company. I wonder why they would have them. Um, I don't know why they have two different names. But I can tell you they look different. But I can tell you this, Amazon did not have Portabella, but Amazon had these. Yeah. So I don't know what I don't know what the deal is with that. Why yeah. would the, the same company have two different ones? I don't know. But this website is it's a mushroom.com. But I'm telling you, it's the same address. The address is the yeah. same. I'd so say it's, it's the like, same company. It's the same. Yeah. So, so we have. Jalapeno, Maybe and these are supposed to be spicy jalapeno, so we'll see what the difference is. But they're different um, color. They look different. They're a little lighter, like it's a different mushroom. Yeah. That has a different flavor. I tell you what though, once again, the the spice gets in the back of your mouth or that's where it does it. mine the pocket right here of my mouth but i like it i really like them what they've do you got a little heat them? to it they're not like i like these not very much really bad heat i do too the texture is a little bit different they're a little softer yeah um i actually think i like these better more the other ones have more of a, a cooked flavor yeah. Um, whereas those don't necessarily have that cooked flavor. I like all of them. I tell I like you what, though, I do. I really like the shrooms, but for me personally, they left me with more of a mushroom, a classic mushroom flavor after in the aftertaste. That earthy. Yes. Yeah. Than the other ones did. So after letting it sit for a second, I'm gonna go back and say. I'm still going to pick the pizza portobello. <laughs> yeah, and I would pick the, the barbecue one. Because I really like that pizza flavor. I like a red sauce anyway. Yeah, so, I like the pizza you know, flavor too. I would pick Italian. I don't gravitate towards spicy things usually anyway. Um, so I would pick the barbecue than the pizza. And those two are good for what they are. I just I don't like hot food necessarily. Um, if you like hot food, those are worth trying. But if you like mushrooms even a little bit, just try these out. They're really good. Yeah, and 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 uh, like Charnel said, if you do keto, paleo, anything like that, now yeah, look at look at the ingredient or the numbers on the back and calculate it out and see if they fit in your diet. And try them out. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll have pictures of all the nutritional information, calories, all the ingredients, all that at the end. Uh, in this plate for you at the end so you can see them close up. Thank you so much, Charnel, and thanks for watching.